Bam Leute und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney im äh, zweiten Kapitel oder nee wir sind glaube ich immer noch im ersten Kapitel aber wir haben den ersten Fall abgeschlossen im letzten Part quasi das Tutorial der Tutorial Fall wo wir unseren Kumpel Larry Butts aus äh, der Klemme geholfen haben und äh, Mr. Frank Sawit als äh, Mörder enttarnt haben. Ja, und ähm, nach einem äh, kurzen äh, Telefonpiepen haben wir im letzten Part aufgehört und äh, nun wollen wir doch mal wissen, worum es sich hierbei handelt. Piep! Hallo? Jetzt muss ich mir wieder ein paar Stimmen überlegen. Ähm, this is Maya. Hey Maya, it's me. M Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. And it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just... Uh, nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to hanging, uh, having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of uh, buzz about uh, the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe uh, keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A, a clock? Yeah, it's made to look like the statue, the thinker. And it tells you the time. I thought it, you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Ah, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. I put some papers in inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm, well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say, nine, to pick to pick it up? I'll be uh, <clears throat> in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis. But I expect dinner, something good. Like burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Beep. Conversation recorded, September 5, 928. <clears throat> September 5, 8.57 p.m. Fay and Co. Law Offices, also unser Büro. Now, Miss Fay, I'll take what's mine, the papers. I'm sorry, I can't give uh, give you what you what I don't have. Miss Fay, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. Uh, how could you know? Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. You are not uh, cogniferous uh, of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. My dear Miss Fay, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you uh, for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Fay. Red, white, blue. Ich wusste gar nicht mehr, dass sie am Anfang sogar schon, ja, halt so viel zeigen. <lacht> ja gut, case closed, würde ich sagen. Ähm. Ja, mal, mal gucken. Also September 5, 908, also direkt danach. Hm. 
No, uh oh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so she would all go out for. Uh, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood. Mia. Maybe she's in our office. Okay, we können jetzt äh, ein paar Sachen untersuchen. Oder wir können moven. Ähm, wir können in ihr Office gehen. Das sollten wir tun. That smell. Blood. <lacht> Sis. Someone's there. Und da liegt sie. Mia. Chief. Chief! Chief! Uh, who are you? The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief, where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Chief! Und somit haben wir unseren ersten Tatort, wo unsere Chefin, ja, nicht mehr ist. Wir können ein paar Sachen untersuchen. Zum Beispiel hier. Diese Scherben. Some shards of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be uh, the remains of a glass light stand. So eine Glaslampe. Yeah, dann untersuchen wir mal Mia. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this. But if there are any clues here. She was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The thinker. The murder weapon looks like a statue, but it's actually a clock made by Larry Butts. Mal wieder! Hmm. There are some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand uh, lying broken in the back of the room. Okay, glass shards. Broken remains of a, a glass light stand. Broken beyond all recognition. Nothing else that seems uh, like a clue here. Hmm? A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? Ach, hier. A word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya. Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. Receipt. A department store receipt with letters written in blood on the back. I think that's enough. Uh, snooping around for now. I better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. Ja, das war dann wohl uh, ihre Sister. Um, na dann. Move wir mal. That girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Nice, yeah. Yipes! Don't scare me like that! Um. Excuse me, but who are you? It, it's okay, I, I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. M Maya? Faye? Maya? It's 
So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt. I never thought there would be a use for evidence like this outside a courtroom. So, jetzt haben wir hier ein paar mehr Optionen. Wir können wie vorhin äh, Sachen untersuchen im Raum. Wir können uns bewegen wieder, zurück ins Office. Wollen wir aber nicht. Dann können wir talken mit ihr und ihr Sachen präsentieren. Ja, wir talken erstmal. What happened? She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me? Can you tell me what happened? I came in. The room was dark. And sis. Sis. So she was already dead. Okay. You and the chief. So you're the chief's sister. I'm her younger sister. And you were here visiting this late at night? Yes, she, she said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes, it, it was the clock. It was the thinker. <coughs> okay. Ähm, na sie wissen ja bereits aus dem Telefonat. Also ich soll ihr den Zettel zeigen. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. Th 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 that's my name! Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why would sis write my name? Uh oh, now I've done it. I better hurry up and call the police. Um. Wie? Kann ich hier... Gibt's ein Telefon? Kann ich moven? Ins Office. Ähm, kann ich hier vielleicht noch was anderes zeigen? Die Mordwaffe zum Beispiel. Ähm, about the thinker. The, the, the thinker. That was... Oh, oh sis. Probably shouldn't have asked her about the murder weapon. Okay. <lacht> um. Ich geh mal zurück. Ach hier, guck mal, hier ist ein Telefon. Kann ich das jetzt untersuchen? Right, I, I better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police? Please, come quick! What was that? Someone screaming from outside a window. Hallo? Hi! She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. Okay. Wir move mal wieder zurück. Oder, oder, warte mal, können wir irgendwie... Ja, hier, hier, warte mal, wir können sliden, genau. Können wir durchs Fenster gucken? There's a large building right across the office. The Gatewater Hotel. A nice, luxurious place. Okay. Police! Sounds like they, uh, they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. Received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. Must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want want either of you moving on one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Maya, wait. She wouldn't have... <sighs> Whoa! Excuse me? Huh? <clears throat> uh, 
This word my here mean anything to you? Uh, um, Dad. That's my name. What? The victim drew this, uh, drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. K killer, I'm not. Case closed, you come it down to the precinct, ma'am. What? Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. Detention center visitors room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. <clears throat> oh, it, it's you, the lawyer. Good morning. G good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Um. Well, it's up to you. I better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me? Yes, I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. They're never going to believe me, are they? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I, I never thought. It, it's okay, I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I, I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite a scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Yeah, so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those uh, strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh? Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know. Uh, I know who to go off if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Uh -huh. That's what she said. I I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. I, I It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... I know. Yeah, then, um, tell us about yourself. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Uh, oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Uh, acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that is that qualifies as strange. Um Ja dann. Was ist denn das? So you're an acolyte, a uh, medium in training. That's right. The Fay family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fay family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I, I, I had no idea. Um, wait, what? So you're a real honest to goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes, in, in training. Well, 
Can't you contact me as spirit then? You can just ask her who killed her. I, I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. I thought that would be too easy. Now done. The day of the crime. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Uh, let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, the clock shaped like the finger. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right, she said something about that. Uh, I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yes, I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. You are done. Last run. So, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Uh oh, I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. S sorry. Oh, right, of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Maya's memo, a conversation I had with my sister is recorded on my cell phone. Okay. Um... Hmm? Something the matter? Um, I, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Ja, natürlich. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Say, what about your parents? Uh oh. I I see. Don't worry, if you leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at ten. What? Tomorrow? T tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until uh, 4 p.m. this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Ich kann das hier nochmal? Moment. Oh, sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the finger clock that Larry made. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9 o'clock. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Okay. Can we not irgendwas zeigen? Nee. Ich glaube, ist alles tip top. Dann ähm, moven wir mal. Ähm, in das Office von uh, Grossberg. Deinem richtig sweeten Bild, Alter. Was ist das? Ein Bär oder sowas? Ja, ein Bär. Im Regal. Grüner Globus. Sehr schön. Wunderbar. Dekoration on point. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Okay. Can a bit examine Um Here, yeah, that's guy the build. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. 
The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me stuff nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. Somebody here. Table for clients. Hmm. An elegant ebony case and if I'm not mistaken, that lighter's made of solid gold. Even I can tell, as uh, someone here has got the money to burn. Um, here no mas... Ah. Solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. Okay. Na dann, äh, wir gehen mal wieder raus. Äh, ach so, wir können... Ah ne, da waren ja gerade. <lacht> ja, dann gehen wir in unser Office mal. Wohl oder übel. Fay and Cole Law Offices. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busy searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal, no trespassing! Um, sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that Pulse guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix Wright! How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, uh, I... <clears throat> Guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. The Botska, he was a killer. <laughs> You're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were... Um... Detective Gumtree? Uh, Gumtree, was it? Detective Gumtree? Uh, Gumtree? Gum doesn't grow on trees, pal. And I'm the one in charge here, so don't push your luck. Whatever you say, detective. Anyway, get the name right. Don't go calling me... And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Y yes, sir. Be right there. Um... <clears throat> You're a lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Whew, he thinks I'm my lawyer. Not done, um... Erzähl uns mal ein bisschen was. About Miss Faye. Uh, did you do an autopsy? <clears throat> you want to know the results, eh? Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. I can see the report, but that's all. Uh, you can see the report, that's all. Mia's autopsy report. Time of death. Uh, blah blah blah, 9 p.m. Cause single blunt force trauma. Death was ins instantaneous. And then sofort he got tot. Okay. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this one trial you aren't going to win. Why do you say that? The city's. Uh, the city's put prosecutor Atrosh on. Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means. You being a lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. B that's right. <laughs> that's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, do you know him, don't you? Um, of course I do. I know him, he's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain, he doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. Was a bit fishy, so it should be. All I know for sure is that Edward hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Okay, can we do something? Ah, yeah, we must have the telephone. I was wondering, did you see Maya's cell phone? Oh, that I have it. Do you think you could give it back? Sure, I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to be. Um, 
Um, um, tell him not so straight. Okay, I can't be straight with this guy. But what should I tell him? Something the matter? Oh no, um, that carrying strap on the cell phone. This? It says the Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. The Steel Samurai? That action here on TV? Yeah, you see that strap is a collector's item. She was worried it might get lost if it went down to the precinct. Is that what she said? Um, yes? Okay, pal. I wrote down all the numbers she called anyway. Here you go. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Maya's cell phone holds a conversation between the chief and Maya. Sehr schön. Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes. Thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness. W w witness. <laughs> With your loyally ways, pal. Ach, die Olle. Warum haben alle so krass große Ausschnitte? Naja, soll mich nicht stören, ne? Oh. Come to think of it, um, I had completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this. But I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So, you've seen her home already then? <laughs> You're trying your loyally tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So, she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Alles klar. Ähm, na dann, ähm, können wir noch was talken? Nee, ne? Ich würde sagen, dann moven wir doch direkt mal. Ähm, zum Gatewater Hotel. Ja. September 6, Gatewater Hotel, Room 303. Well, hello there, handsome. Ähm, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. Um, You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. <laughs> Memo to self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Oh! Let me confession up so I can look the uh, look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. Um, nur dann schnüffeln wir ein bisschen herum derweil. Hier guckt zum Beispiel was ganz verdächtig aus der Schublade. There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Uh, hey, hey! What are you doing? No touching! Uh, oh, bad boy. You really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Uh, upset? I thought you was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. Um, ja gut, dann uh, reden wir doch besser mal. Um, what haben Sie denn gesehen, Madame? Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at this uh, at the time of the incident. Oh, observe incident. You sound just like a lawyer on in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Um, better not encourage her. Er, you know that thing that occur um, happened the other day. The bad thing. <laughs> Smooth again. <laughs> um. What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it, pretty please? 
Let me see. Um, well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. Mm, na dann, was mit dir los? Um, could you just who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hating on me? No. Hey, I'm just doing my job here. Gee, <laughs> you know you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Um, uh, right. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no. <laughs> <clears throat> and you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. Um, I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Oh, what an amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh, no, not me. I'm uh, just the lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage, hmm? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, indeed. Um, can we do anything else? Um, das zum Beispiel. Excuse me, but I'm a witness, police witness. You understand? How could I possibly give you any information in good con uh, conscience? Hmm? Me, the witness. It's just like in the movies. Um, ja, okay, dann uh, wohl nicht. Und ich denke mal, ich kann hier wahrscheinlich nichts weiter angucken. Solange du hier stehst, ähm, dann gehen wir mal wieder woanders hin. Ähm, zum Beispiel ins Detention Center. Wir haben ja jetzt das äh, Telefon. Hey! Uh, what is it? Did you meet a lawyer? Sorry. I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hm. I better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. Aber zuerst, ich hab das Handy. Guck mal. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say, can I listen to my sister's voice? Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Oh, thank you. Okay, ah, ich kann's checken, guck mal hier. So, uh, Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on uh, to for me. What is it this time? Statue, the thinker, blah, blah. This isn't working. Take the clockwork out, papers, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, genau das gleiche, was wir schon erlebt haben. Uh, können wir noch über was reden? Your family. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. Don't know? So she could still be alive? <clears throat> the women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he, he... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent. Or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her, all by herself up on that mountain. Your mother's enemy. So, who was this man who um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads and they were getting desperate. Wait. They didn't use a spirit medium, did they? 
<clears throat> the police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved. We fought. You fought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police consultation with a medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me, White? That was his name, my sister told me. White? Hmm. <clears throat> White, white. Ähm, okay. Können wir dir noch was zeigen? Ich glaube auch nicht. Ich kann dir mein Attorney's Badge zeigen. Wie wär's damit? Sorry, I've never seen that before. Okay, schade. Ähm, was wir auch machen können, ist hier untersuchen. Hier den geilen Stuhl können wir nicht untersuchen. Ähm, was ist mit ihm hier? Lebst du noch? Discard Monitors, the Visitor's Room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. Richtiger Profi. Hier die Kamera können wir noch. Smile for the camera. Ähm, naja. Falscher Ort vielleicht dafür. Ähm. Na dann gehen wir wieder, würde ich sagen. Vielleicht ist er mittlerweile angekommen. Hm. Seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Immer noch. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. <coughs> if that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. <laughs> so you're the one they say has been looking for me? Uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Huh? That badge on your collar? Ah, so you're a lawyer, aren't you, are you now? Yes, well, yes. Uh, what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Huh? Something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out of it? Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Fay. <laughs> Oh, yes, by your faith, go on. Hmm, why the strange reaction? Uh, well, tra -tra. I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a daily, uh, on a day's notice. Well, not quite impossible. Wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Well, <coughs> anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. What's going on? He refuses me before I even get a chance to ask him? What do I tell Maya? Fancy music. Um, your refusal. Warum, Diggy? Please. How can you just refuse like that? Please tell me why you won't take the case. Well, you see, it's just a, a busy, you see. But the client is Mia Fey's sister. <coughs> Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I, I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. <laughs> I think not. Huh? Did you say something? Uh, I think not, I say. What do you mean? Uh, I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I, uh, I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? How did you know Mia Fey? 
she worked here a long time ago. Quite your apprentice, last one. Learn my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left someday, quite suddenly. She had a mission to see. A mission? We could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. I will look back to that one. That's quite a painting. But oh, you noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the ways of the straw hat. It's worth at least three millions. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't tell it, not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying cheese. Okay. Ja, war wohl nicht so erfolgreich. Kann ich dir irgendwas zeigen, vielleicht? Nee. Ja, dann wollen wir wahrscheinlich mal die schlechte Nachricht überbringen, ne? Hey, ja. Uh. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, uh, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what really happened? You don't mean he refuses to help? Or, uh, I, I see. I've been abandoned then. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyers comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? I just leave her and go home? Yeah, ja, natürlich nicht. Mensch, Maya. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well, um. Someone else is the culprit. Um, I don't know why. To be honest, I don't know. You don't know? Is this girl sitting in front of me the killer? All the evidence seems to say yes. But there's something about this whole thing that smells fishy. That witness strange behavior. Was that all an act? And the way that lawyer refused to help out Maya. But more than all that, she has no one left to help her. Nothing is more sad or more lowly than that. I know, I've been there a long, long time ago. Oh, small phoenix. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. There's only one thing I know for certain. I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That, that's so kind of you. <laughs> well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. R right, thank you. Whew, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent. Right? Yes! And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer uh, that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Okay. Can we a bit talk? No, we have schon alles. Alles klar. Dann würde ich sagen, lassen wir erstmal die fröhliche Maya zurück und äh, gucken nochmal, ob wir vielleicht noch ein bisschen rumstöbern können hier. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, are you... Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, uh, right. I've just come up to deliver a room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the, er, uh, facilities. 
If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy! Yeah... Wait, no, hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah, I almost forgot. Gah! You came back quick! Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name, my sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? Vielleicht, vielleicht, aber auch nicht. Wir werden auf jeden Fall mal diese Blume untersuchen. Flowers are fake, as expected. I know sunflowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. Okay. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half-open drawer. Now is my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A wiretap? Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Wiretap found in Miss Meyer's hotel room. Also ein uh, Abhörgerät, glaube ich. There is definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this, I know it. Alright. I'm using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get this woman's bottom. Uh, wait, I mean, do you know what I mean? I weiß ganz genau, was du willst, Phoenix. I'm with you, boy. Um. <clears throat> Oh, bellboy, still there? Uh oh, time to scram. I look forward to uh, to tangoing with you uh, tomorrow, Miss May. In court. To be continued. So, ja, in diesem äh, Spiel gibt es immer ähm, so zwei Abschnitte. Es gibt äh, den ähm, Untersuchungsabschnitt, wo man die Tatorte etc. untersucht und nach Hinweisen äh, und, und Hinweise sammelt. Das war der Abschnitt, den wir jetzt gerade gemacht haben. Und dann gibt es natürlich noch den äh, Gerichtsabschnitt, den wir im letzten Part, also im letzten Part hatten wir einen. Ja, und der folgt äh, sogleich, aber erst in der nächsten Folge. Von daher, ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Und äh, ja, dann sehen wir uns beim nächsten äh, Video wieder vor Gericht. Bis dahin, macht's gut, Leute. Und tschüss.